I'm very happy. I'm very happy, I must say, because uh, I've been here two and a half years and uh, I feel home, the supporters, the, the team, and everyone in it. So it, it makes me feel really good and I feel at home. Yeah, I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful because uh, I had a couple of talks with, uh, with the board and, uh, and they were really positive. And uh, unluckily, I, I didn't have a great season last year because of yeah, some injuries and stuff like that, but they still keep the belief in me and uh, I'm very grateful for that. And uh, I think it's time for me to also give what they deserve. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel once more. My name is Adam. In today's video, we are going to talk about the latest updates concerning Ghanaian and Black Star players. But before we jump into it, don't forget to like, subscribe and also turn on notification. Also, don't forget our Jesse giveaway is still running. All you have to do is comment under this video and any other video will drop your scores for IGH and stand a chance of winning yourself. A free jersey of your choice is very simple. Please make sure to participate quickly. Let's jump into it and talk about Majid Ashwiru. Now, the good news is that Majid Ashwiru has extended his contract with Andalnet for the next three years. His current contract is going to end in 2027. And I'm happy for this player because since ever since joining Andalnet from Red Bull Salzburg, he has been a very good player for them playing over 100 games. But there is one thing about this player, the hierarchy of Anderlecht do not like. That is his injury history. It is very bad. Now at the AFCON, he got injured. And when he got injured and was diagnosed, they saw that it was very severe. And he had to stay at home without playing football for a very long period. And then when he recovered and started playing football for Anderlecht, he only played about three games. And that was it. He got injured again and went back. And because of that, we were not able to get him for the World Cup qualifiers. And in fact, the Anderlecht CEO has talked about him. He says that when it comes to technique, talent, quality, Majid Ashimiru has everything. But then there is one thing about him that is lacking more, his fitness. He gets injured frequently. At the time, they were contemplating on whether to extend this contract or not, or to go in for a younger version, a healthier version, a player who is fit all the time to play football. I always say this, your availability is your best ability. It, no matter how talented you are, if you are not available now, nah, you have to be there to win it. You have to be in it to win it. And I mean, as much as they have talked a lot, I, I, I noticed they, they weighed the advantages and the disadvantages of the player and they saw that the advantages were more than the disadvantages. That is why they were able to give him the contract extension. I'm happy for him. Everyone is happy for him. All we ask is that he keep fit. He should always be fit and play more games for club side and also for country. Because age is an enemy to any player. And we don't want that for any of our players, especially Majid Ashimiru. He's the only creative spark we have in the Black Stars at the moment. So guys, this is the latest update concerning Majid Ashimiru. Now moving away from Majid Ashimiru, let's talk about a new Black Star goalkeeper who I think would be of interest to Otoadu. Now, this goalkeeper is 20 years of age, a Dutch born Ghanaian goalkeeper who is currently with AZ Alkma. His name is Rom Jaden Ousu Odro. I'm going to repeat the name again Rom Jaden Ousu Odro. Now, this player has played for the junior sides of Netherlands, the under 16, the under 20, but then yet he's still eligible to play for Ghana. Now, the good news for this goalkeeper is that, according to AZ Atma CEO and also director, this goalkeeper is going to be the number one goalkeeper for AZ Atma in the Dutch era the missing for the upcoming season. And this is good. We have always been complaining that we need goalkeepers in our goalkeeping department. We need some sort of competition in there. And we have a young player who is going to get a lot of game time in a very top league. That's the Dutch league. Trust me, this is a goalkeeper who will be of interest to Otoadu as a manner of speaking because with the kind of quality and also the opportunities about to have, if he's able to impress, I don't see why Otoadu will not explore this, this player right here. I mean, a goalkeeper who is very young, going to get a lot of game minutes, play against Ajax, play against Feyenoord, play against big teams in the era they need see, get the experience, needed experience, and also bring that to the Black Stars to me, I think it's good. And right now, age is just a number in football. It's going where the days where if you are small, they'll say, hey, we are for our own ball football, we are safe. No, no, no. Right now, that is what they did. Lamy Yaman has cancelled that. 
He's 16 year old. He's playing in the senior team. Why not a 20 year old? Once the quality is there, he should come in and come and give the competition. So I believe this goalkeeper would be of interest to Otuado and the coaches should explore them. We shouldn't narrow our search to one, one side. We should broaden the scope and try and look for other goalkeepers who are currently being coached for a play. Now, they're not Premier League in the way say, yo. Yes, there's talent in there, but then it is too corrupt to the extent that you might even go in for the wrong, you know, play player. And then that's the truth. But then this is a player I believe Otuado needs to consider and put an idea. And you got a black star goalkeeper, Room Jaden Osu Odro. According to AZ Abma, their CEO and also director, he says this goalkeeper is going to be the number one goalkeeper for the upcoming season. And this is good news for Ghana and also for the player. Now, moving away from him, let's talk about Andre Dede Ayo, captain of the Black Stars. Still the captain of the Black Stars. Let's not forget, he has not retired from the Black Stars. Now, he had the lecture at, you know, University of Ghana, Legon, talking about a lot of this. And one of the statements he made was that he does not get his bread from the salaries he earns when playing for the Ghana Black Stars or the national team. And then people were asking, ah, bread, is it sugar bread or tea bread? For those asking that question, I don't know what else to tell you. They even say the Lord's Prayer. If you say the Lord's Prayer, then you know the kind of bread he's talking about. The Lord's Prayer, there is a section that says, give us our daily bread. Are they like, eh, hey, so why are you asking, Andre, are you, if it's sugar bread or tea bread? I mean, that aside, some people do not understand this statement. People feel like, ah, if Andre Ayu says that playing for the national team does not give him bread or that of his family, and the money that he takes from the national team, where does he take it to? Or how does he do, like, what does he do with that money? People are asking. And I mean, I don't understand that. It's like, it's none of your business. Yes, it is none of your business. I have worked. They have paid me. I said, I'm not, that is wrong, but that is not what hits my family. You are asking me, what do I use the money for? I'm not obliged to tell you that. Probably he gives it to charity. Probably he has, he puts it into an investment, a, something. That is what it, I mean, the questions are too much. The questions are too much for Andre Ayub because at this point, he has said that, that the money from the national team does not feed his family. That is not the bread. And you needs to understand that. Before Andre Ayub joined the national team, me papa was cow. Me papa sika yene sika. E papi imoni be imoni. So this guy is coming from a rich home. That is what we need to understand. So the questions people are asking now, uh, the money he takes from the national team, where does it turn it? I mean, come on. These, these are questions that are not necessary, in my own opinion. Andre Ayu is Andre Ayu. Whatever he chooses to use the money for, he worked for it. He deserves it. That's fine. But guys, this is the latest update concerning Andre Ayu and how Ghanaians are reacting to the statement he made that the national team money is not the bread for himself and also his family. Lastly, let me just do something on the Mbappe something, you know, Mbappe or any announcement. I've seen a lot of, you know, analysis, a lot of thoughts, a lot of opinion on the Mbappe on Vinny. That is very nice. That is beautiful. But then people are asking, what is Barcelona doing? We all know Barcelona are in talks with Nico Williams to sign the player. And I get people from Ghana here saying, Nico Williams will not be a match for Mbappe. So Barcelona has to go and sign an Amis player. Did you really watch the Eos? Did you see Nico Williams? Compare Nico Williams' performance to Mbappe. Nico Williams, definitely in Barcelona, is going to cause problems for Real Madrid. Put, put that aside. I'm, I'm saying it, though. This Mbappe that you put a hype like this, you'll be sure. Then you, then you say you will not win. Oh, he was not going to win it. Because the rest of the players is playing, you know, with half already won it like two or three times already. They don't even have the encouragement to go and win it again. Vinicius has won it like two or three times. Rodrigo say a lot of these players have won it. So what are you trying to, what, what, what do they need? They, they don't right. even need to stress themselves. For Nico Williams and Barcelona, they need to prove a point. And trust me, when Nico Williams entered that Barcelona setup and other players come in, I, I, I hear they are going for the Thomas part. He's a test. When they come in, uh, I better say, you know, I'm not a Barcelona fan, but I don't like it like the way Ghanaians, so our old Ghanaian man, they are undermining what Nico Williams could do in the Barcelona squad. 
No, 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 no. Make you put no, make you no, make you put no do that. I don't like it when another African and it's another African's effort or ability to do something. Mbappe definitely has an African heritage, yes. But don't forget that Nico Williams we are talking about was one of the exciting players at the Eos. So still the form is there. This is a player who has a great telepathy and friendship with Lamia Yamal. So I believe if he's in Barcelona squad, that is a team. This is not a new team. You get me. So guys, this is where I end today's video. Let me know your thoughts about it down below in the comments. Thanks for joining me. My name is Adam. I'm really sure to see you in the next one. Charlie, we go by.